All right, this is Block 7, Lecture 1. I wanted to take a look at the painting. Uh, this is a painting called uh, American Progress, which was painted during the era of Manifest Destiny. And by examining all the different pieces of this painting, we can get a pretty good idea of uh, kind of what Americans were thinking and what American culture was saying uh, during this time of westward expansion. Um, let's start with the kind of most obvious um, thing in this painting, this enormous woman um, gliding across uh, the landscape here. She is a representation of the United States. Uh, this is Columbia, um, which was kind of a, name, a personification name given to the United States kind of after Columbus. This is Columbia, and you can see that she's dressed in this kind of classical uh, diaphanous gown here, um, and she is working her way. You can tell what direction is she facing. Everything in this painting uh, is heading from the right-hand side of the painting to the left, including this main character, uh, Columbia, to represent kind of this westward movement, the westward expansion of the United States. Um, so let's, um, we're going to leave her for a second and kind of look at some of the other things that are in this painting. Um, let's look at the immediate foreground. Uh, right here we see a pioneer uh, family, a pioneer family. You can see, you know, kind of the scout is leading the way, and this kind of rough, tough looking mountain guy uh, is following behind. Um, these are people you can see he has a farm implement here. These are kind of these hardy pioneers. They are in the foreground, they are first, they are marching their way west across a continent. Uh, they are being followed kind of at the same point in the painting, kind of in the same place, just a little bit more in the background. Uh, by this Conestoga wagon, this prairie schooner, uh, obviously with a family inside of it being driven by oxen, and what direction are they heading? They're obviously heading west, um, that they are breaking new land, they are starting new settlements um, in the country. What are they driving ahead of them? What's further out to the west and kind of looking back the other way? So starting the foreground to the background, um, we have a bear it looks like down here. The bear is looking behind him, kind of saying, oh no, here comes the, you know, here come the Americans. Uh, and most obviously back here we have a group of uh, American Indians uh, who are, you know, they're looking back, they see America, they see pioneers, they see these wagons, um, and they are fleeing, they are running away, they are going as fast as they can, they are not turning around to fight, they are maybe turning around to look, uh, and then they are running. Also running away, we can see up here in kind of the background of the picture, are a herd of bison. Uh, so we have the natives and we have nature all running as fast as they can uh, from this wave of American progress. Uh, now remember, that is the name of the painting, American Progress. American Progress is working its way across uh, the plains, you know, started by these pioneers and then these pioneer families uh, driving you know, uncivilized things, driving the wild man, the Indian, and the wildness of nature, driving it before them. Um, the sky is also playing a role in this idea of progress. Over here on the left-hand side of the sky, where America is going, it is still dark. That light and civilization um, and reason and all of those wonderful things about American civilization have not reached uh, all the way uh, to that side of the painting yet. But if you look where she is coming from, all of this stuff over here, uh, that American progress is uh, shown in the painting with the use of light. Uh, light is moving into darkness. Darkness is giving way to light. Uh, and that's kind of an obvious, powerful, symbolic thing, that the darkness is being pushed away. The darkness is being pushed aside uh, by civilization and by American progress. That's what the pioneers are pushing in front of them. What are they bringing in their wake? Let's take a look kind of at the other half uh, of the painting now. I will move over. Let's take a look at the other half of the painting now. Behind kind of our pioneers and behind our pioneer families, and here we have like a, a rider, you know, obviously delivering messages behind America and behind progress, coming with America, coming with progress. Let's see what we see behind. We see a stagecoach, kind of a, a symbol of civilization. Down here in the right-hand corner, uh, we see farmers tilling their fields. 
Um, obviously also another sign of progress and civilization. And then as we come from um, the far right hand side of the painting, we see trains, we see trains, um, we see in the background these ships, these cities, there's a bridge. All of these things that represent civilization and represent progress are being pulled across America uh, in the wake of American expansion and in the wake of American settlement uh, across you know, the, the continent from, uh, from the Mississippi River and the east um, all the way to the Pacific coast. In her hand, she is holding a telegraph wire, uh, which is another invention you know, of the 1840s, uh, that she is, as she goes along, you see it looped around her elbow, she is stringing telegraph wire so that the established civilization uh, in the East can communicate uh, across an entire continent. That we have this dark, the light into darkness, civilization into the unknown, um, bringing with it uh, is obviously a positive painting. That this painting portrays Manifest Destiny and Western expansion as an unabashedly good thing. I mean, look at her. You know, there's nothing negative about her. She's white. She's pure. She's innocent. She's floating. She's an angel almost. Uh, bringing American civilization uh, into the darkness. Bringing Americans. Bringing bringing the light out west. Um, and all the aspects of this painting play this idea, you know, um, that civilization was moving into barbaric and uncivilized lands, uh, and that civilization meant light, and civilization meant progress, and medicine, and technology, and advancements, and wealth, and all the things that civilization means, was being brought across the continent by the United States and by these pioneers. Um, it is an excellent painting into the feeling of the age, that this is how Americans felt uh, in the 1840s. They felt that they were on this divine, almost, mission to conquer a continent, to spread the blessings of their civilization, and they saw them unironically. There was no tongue-in-cheek, there was no irony when Americans in the 1840s and 50s said that they were spreading the blessings of civilization. Uh, they didn't mean that as a joke, they didn't mean that sarcastically, they meant that utterly and completely seriously. Um, and it was up to Americans to spread these values, these values of freedom and economic opportunity, uh, across the continent and to make the darkness and the Indians and nature flee before uh, onrushing civilization. Um, American progress uh, is the name of the